Hi guys, in this video I thought we'd quickly do um, a session on how to calculate tolerances. Now, please go through the lecture notes and then when you get to this slide, you can follow the video. So if you haven't read the lecture notes, you should be first reading the lecture notes before you get to this point. Okay, so what you're looking at here is um, basic size 85 millimeters. For a basic size of 80, diameter 85, uh, we're going to see how to calculate uh, a hole tolerance of H9 and a shaft tolerance of B10. Okay, so we're going to have a look at hole tolerance H9 and shaft tolerance B10 for diameter 85 millimeters. So we're going to go and turn our pages in our textbook. So we uh, go ahead and take the AW bounty out and if you look at the hole based tolerance um, I'm going to get you guys to turn to page number 70 so you'll see a table something like this in page number 70 so what we're going to do is first the information we have is basic size diameter 85 so go ahead and look at this first column and identify a range. So we are looking at diameter 85. So I'm going to go ahead and select the range which is 80 to 100. So diameter is between 80 to 100. Now if you are looking at a problem uh, of you have to calculate um, the tolerance for a hole and the radius is given, the first thing you would do is convert it to diameter and then look for the range. If you look at it for a radius, you'll end up with incorrect values. So convert it to diameter and then find out the range. So that means we are, we are interested in this row. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the row. Now, on top here you can see various H values, so basically uppercase H is the number next to it is uh, tolerance grade for holes and the lower portion where you're looking at the solid shading is the tolerance grade for shafts. So it is all in lowercase and alphabet uh, in lowercase and a number next to it. So we were looking at H9 B10, so basically that's it. So go ahead and I'm going to um, select the column. So for H9 B10, that's the column. So where they both intersect, these four numbers, that's my area of interest. So I'm going to go ahead and I've just shaded it. So those numbers are my area of interest. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write that down. So I'm going to write those four numbers that I found. So I've written it down here. So for the hole, the tolerance lower limit is 0 to 8 and the upper limit is 87. For the shaft, the lower limit is 260 and the upper limit is 120. Now I'm going to go back to my table and I've got those four um, numbers there. Now the tolerance unit is 0 0.001. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply all these numbers by 0 0.001. So I went ahead and multiplied it or all four numbers by 0 0.001 which is the tolerance unit and I ended up with something like this. So for my hole, that's the tolerance limit and for the shaft, that's my tolerance limit. So if I was going to write this, uh, rewrite my tolerance for the hole and shaft, this is what it's going to look like. Now 
Now I can rewrite the tolerance as for the whole diameter 85, the upper limit is 0 0.09, so basically rounded that up, and the lower limit is 85.0. You can, you can write it either like this or like this, both are correct. Okay? So when you get to microstature, once you've calculated it, you will input your value either like that or like that. Now this is for the whole. For the shaft, same, same goes. So if you go ahead and have a look at the um, shaft value, the shaft value is the lower limit is 0 0.260, upper limit is 0 0.120. So if I was going to rewrite that for the shaft, I will write diameter 85, the lower limit is 0 0.260, upper limit is 0 0.120. Okay? So that's how you calculate um, tolerance. And once you've done that, you're going to put it in MicroStation. So I'm going to quickly open up MicroStation Connect and show you how to input that value. I've got a um, hole here. So say, for example, in MicroStation Connect, you've got a hole. And normally, if the diameter is 85, you just say diameter 85. In this case, I want to show the tolerance for that hole. So what do I do? I go to annotate, okay, so annotate, okay, so under annotate dimensions, so I'm going to go to dimension style, I select dimension style, it, open, it opens up this dialog box, I click on the tab called geometry, and here under tolerance, I enable the tolerance, okay, so I've got two options here, limit, or plus or minus. So I'll show you both. So plus or minus, uh, we already know that my lower limit for the hole is 0 and the upper limit is 0 0.087. So if I go ahead now and dimension it, now if I correct this to two decimal places, it will say 0 0.09. Okay? So either uh, one or correct. Both are correct. So there you go. I've just shown you if you are going to go ahead and say you don't want plus or minus, you want limits, in that case, there you go. Okay. So both are correct. You can use any one of the two to show your tolerance. Thank you for watching. Um, please practice and I hope you found this.